Brent. What's up, bud? Hey, a little better this week and better time too. Good job on that. This is I got two of your videos loaded up here. I have one actually two weeks ago because I know you were saying that you were confused last week about the arm swing so I took a two week one so we can take a look at that so let's look at that right now I'm going to back you up so arm swing definitely here is the big critical factor because we're trying to get that back leg to push through as you can see two weeks ago that front arm, and this is I think before we even got in a, in a proper upper body position. So that up, that upper arm, <clears throat> what's crazy, that false step, why it's so deadly is because that front leg is already forward. And so we're picking it up and trying to throw that other hand back to get our timing going, where it actually should be the opposite. We should be taking that back elbow and pushing it back to get the back leg through. That's the most important leg. And that's the reason for this false step is your body's trying to use that, utilize that right leg, which is your dominant leg, or just that it's your front leg and gets closer to where you want to go, trying to utilize that leg to push off. But because <clears throat> we have to, as a base runner, keep our body in the middle of our legs so that we don't get picked off, that front leg can't be the leg we push off because it just takes too much time to get out of the blocks. So we have to get that back leg to pop, to get that back leg to pop through there a little sooner. So this was the old one, like I said, and you can see that your back arm, your left arm, the one that is super crucial to get that back leg to pop through is going up and then down. I mean, it's like, let's see how many frames it takes there. Let's see, so we got from the time you start, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven, about eleven or twelve frames before that back leg starts to come through. So let's take a look at your new one. It's better, definitely better. And let's take a look at how many frames this one takes. Let's see here. I'll get you to that point. Okay, so so the moment you start, one, one whoop, 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 whoop one you kind of flinch there with your shoulders now that's that's one thing we'll talk about want to stay nice and relaxed with those shoulders and think more along the lines of taking your your hand your left hand and moving your hand in your hand to hammer that nail behind you versus shrugging those shoulders we're kind of shrugging a little bit but let's count the frames let's see so from your first shrug one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 10, 11, about the same. Try it again. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Yeah, so 11. Um, and the big, the big thing here is the same false step as you can see with the front foot. So you can see that same false step, how it slides back, and how we still throw that that front arm behind us where we need to be pushing more back right away so you can see that that back arm if you want to go back first it actually goes forward first so it goes up towards your lip goes up towards your lip you shrug a little bit it goes up towards your lip and then goes back I want that thing to go straight back okay straight back I can't pull that sprinter file because I didn't get it ready for this video. But you see when he's in the blocks, he throws that arm straight back and it almost goes up just like that to get that back leg to come through. That's the, that's the major thing that we got to do is, is work. It's better, but still that front arm is coming forward. It's coming forward because the opposite action of that leg is picking up and setting down. So that's automatically your brain it's it's opposites your brain the your opposite opposite side limb arm and leg are opposite each other so as you can see when you run we know that where the um where you're going to have one the the arms up and then the opposite leg is going to be back right you don't run with 
your knee up, the same knee, like the right knee up and the right hand up. You don't run like that. So that by that arm coming up and not going back right away, it sends a signal to your body to pick that front leg up and false step it. Whereas if we were to take that arm and go straight back, like we're hammering the nail, like we talked about, then that's going to send the signal to your brain, okay, oh, I need to bring this back leg through versus um, the, uh, see, the only thing our front leg we should be doing is leaning over that leg and not picking it up. But I think with the arm action, if we can work on some get-offs this week along with your lean, your wall drill, wall lean drill, and your pawing the ground, that'll help with picking that foot up and getting it over the knee. As you can see, we're not getting that knee and that, that knee and foot up enough to get some more float. Okay, we're kind of pop, 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 pop in the ground quick. Whereas I want you to get some float out of it, get some push, get some get some power out of that out of the blocks. And power, when I say power, doesn't mean you tense, start tensing up muscles like you are in the neck in this one or raising up. You got to really stay relaxed, uh, especially in those neck muscles, to get that arm action going because tight muscles are slow muscles. So we got to stay relaxed in the neck, relaxed in the chest, in the back, upper back. And we just got to focus on taking that hand, that, that left hand, and hammering that nail behind us as quick as you can. Okay? Like I said, it doesn't mean tense up those upper muscles up by the head. Which, like I said, it's going to make us slower, make us fall step. But you can see we, we had a little bit of a breakthrough this week with our time. So we're getting faster. But once we get rid of this, this false step here, you're going to see a, a hopefully we'll be close to almost four, uh, sub four. And um, acceleration is probably the most important thing here, especially on the base pass, because we only have 90 feet to get there. It's not like a 100 meter, 100 meter sprint where you have to get it into a top out speed. By the time you start to get into your top out, where you start to actually more upright position, you almost have to come back down and slide. So base running is definitely the speed on the bases is is different, is a different monster than running a 100 meter sprint like the the sprinters. So. We, the acceleration is super critical. Those first 10 feet are super critical. And like we've talked about, your upper body is, is super, important and su super important in getting that left arm, that left hand, relaxing the, the shoulders and the neck muscles, taking that left hand and trying to hammer that nail behind you as quick as you can and get nice and long with it. Okay, you want to try, try and stay 90, but get long with it so you get that leg time to, to cross over. So other than that, man, if you got any questions, you know where to find me, brother. But work hard this week, and I'll see you next Saturday.